Okay, today I got to thinking, what's the difference between pulling a set of pups and a van? Yes, I was thinking about that today. And what got me thinking about it is, today I got to the yard and they got me set up on this van right here. 53 foot van, we call it a one way because it's a rental. And you just go one way, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I got to the yard, I got my bills, looked on my phone, and it showed what the weight was on here. Now, let's go back. There's a lot of differences between pulling a set and pulling a van. And you would think most of the differences would favor pulling the van, right? A set, you got two trailers and a dolly to hook up. It takes a lot longer, a lot more to check and make sure of. You got to break them down when you get to the other side. You can't back them up. Now, what are the pros to pulling a set versus a van? It's easier to get in tight parking areas. You can get snake your way through a little bit. But the biggest difference is, and I've, it came to my mind, I'm sure I knew this, when I got to the yard, this van showed right at 33,000 pounds of freight on it. Okay, 33,000 pounds. And a lot of it depends on how they're loaded, right? If they're loaded good, you can pull more weight, right? This one, I don't know if it was by accident or if somebody knew what they were doing. I'm hoping it's because they knew what they were doing. This one is loaded just about perfect to pull with a single axle tractor. Now, if you got a tandem axle tractor, day cab or sleeper, doesn't matter, you can pull 40, 45,000 pounds depending on how heavy your truck is, right? But it's a lot different on these single axle tractors because you can only put 20,000 pounds on this axle. On a tandem, 34,000, right? Now, 33,000 pounds on this van. I hooked up and then checked all the lights. And the other thing I did was I took these, uh, set these tandems all the way to the front. Slid them all the way to the front because I can use more weight back here than I can up on a single axle. So, went around to the scale, got on the scale, 10.7 I think on the steer, right at 18, almost 19,000 pounds on the drives, which is like perfect. Got back here to the, to the, to the tandems on the trailer, right at 33,000. So you really couldn't put much more weight on this trailer and pull it with this, this, uh, single axle tractor now now there's the difference on why you might rather especially if you're in charge of tonnage and load average and all that stuff pull a set of pups because 33,000 max on this van I've pulled on a set 42 43,000 pounds and it's all on how it's distributed again a lot has to do with how it's loaded, right? Because you don't want, I've had pups that are too heavy on the, way too heavy on the drives, way light on the back on the trailer. They just weren't loaded right. Hopefully that they're teaching these guys better ways to load pups so they can axle out because on pups, you got all single axles, especially if you pull them with the, with the single axle tractor. You got the tractor, you got the trailer single axle, you got the dolly single axle and the back trailer single axle. Now, what you gotta be careful on pulling these pups is you can have all your axles legal on your, on your pups and still be over gross. Cause just think, you can put 20,000 on each one of those single axles. You got four single axles. If you had almost 20,000 on every axle, you're already gonna be over gross and then you gotta take care of the steers. And you just gotta weigh. I mean, you can go across all those axles way legal and be over gross. So you gotta be careful with that. So I just was thinking about that today with the opportunity of pulling this van and made me think about, I'm not gonna be too heavy. I hope I'm not too heavy. I saw it was 33,000 pounds because the chances of it loading perfect is not as good as it should be. And I got there and then I started thinking, well, that's 33,000 pounds. Yesterday I had a set of pups I had like 21 on the front pup and like 17 on the 18 on the back. 
pup, and I was only grossing about 74, 75,000 pounds. This van with 33,000 pounds, I'm only grossing about 65, 64,000 pounds. So you can pull more tonnage with those pups, even with a single axle tractor. Keep that in mind. So, appreciate y'all watching. Go down in the description, check out all my links. Send me an email if you want a referral. Go to the SIA website that's down there if you want to fill out an application. Subscribe to this channel, please, if you will. Like this video, and we'll see you later.